Thank you. Thank you, Arun. I think the other speakers are hope they will join us. So my uh, the session is everything real about the unreal AI in ophthalmology. And you listen to both the Prasanna and Dr. Arun Shetrapal. So I am speaking on smartphone-based app to diagnose diabetic retinopathy. So here you see a normal-looking retina and a retina affected by diabetes because the diabetes mellitus is now the epidemic of the 21st century. And diabetic retinopathy is a major cause of blindness in the working middle-aged adult population and the fifth cause of blindness globally. And the IDF Atlas 10th edition 21 provides the latest figures, information and projections on diabetes worldwide in, uh, in 2021. Approximately 537 million adults between 20 to 17 years are living with diabetes. The total number of people with living with diabetes is projected to rise to 643 million by 2030 and 783 million by 2045. Three in four adults with diabetes live in low and middle income countries and almost 1 in 240 million adults living with diabetes are undiagnosed. And uh, this is a world problem. And more than 1.2 million children and adolescents between 0 to 19 years are living with type 1 diabetes. And 541 million adults are at risk, increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The problem, conventionally retinopathy screening is done by fundus examination by ophthalmologist using conventional fundus by optometrist or trained eye technician. The primary issue in India is we have only one ophthalmologist per 100,000 population, which is published in the Indian Journal of Ophthalmology in 2019. 70% of Indian population resides in rural area or urban slums and low awareness or ignorance is a problem. And uh, we are working on the patients walking into the OPD. If you ask a patient with diabetes, they don't know that the diabetic patient may go blind or may have retinopathy. Thirdly, follow-ups are required for years together because diabetes once sets in, it is up to the grave. And uh, the technical difficulties in India we face using AI is unreliable internet coverage. We need internet for the uh, source, as uh, Dr. Arun Shetrapal mentioned, unless you have data, correct data with the correct matching details, then the AI will not be accurate. And the deficit in supply of electricity in many areas and a shortage of trained medical staff for uh, operating conventional fundus camera and portability of fundus ca uh, camera. And the solution, these issues can be solved using computer machine learning, just, just now Arun Shetrapal mentioned, AI for analysis of retinal images in people with diabetes, thus solving the at least some part of the problem. This is again published by Dr. Atul Kumar and team. And uh, this uh, definition, I like the AI, the way forward. Uh, intelligence is the capacity to analyze, think, make a decision and categorize. And that's what uh, like the common sense is commonly not available. And uh, people have, they don't use it. Uh, the artificial intelligence involves formulating a specially made algorithm according to our needs to develop this capacity and include it in an electronic device like smartphone. So the role of the AI system, integration of retinal photography and artificial intelligence, uh, AI-based grading and diagnosis system for referable diabetic retinopathy, performs the following procedure fully automatically. That means you don't need a, a person to uh, do identifies fundus features, classifies image quality, classifies the existence and severity of the disease. And all these are based on deep learning technology. That means you keep on feeding the computer with images, with the details, and say this is normal, this is background diabetic retinopathy, proliferative diabetic retinopathy, diabetic. So it picks up the features and that's how AI, which Google found out the retina belongs to a male or a female. I don't know what's the application, but that's, that can be found, whether it uh, belongs to a male or a female. And we have no way to find out uh, as a, a human when we examine a retina photograph, whether it belongs to a female or a male. So the way to go, and this is what I learned from the cancer uh, uh, people, where they, they have to screen, diagnose, and treat. Because if you don't, uh, if you only screen and diagnose and then leave them uh, without treatment, and I think uh, that's a sin, and particularly in uh, cancer, now in India, it's punishable. That means if you are doing a cancer screening camp, and if you see that you screen and diagnose and don't take the patient for treatment, and you are, you are punishable. So that means the, whether the money or not, whether the patient can afford or not, whether the patient is aware is not the question. If you do a screening, you need a counselor to convince the patient 
for a cancer patient to go for treatment. Otherwise, they say, don't do the screening. Because if you screen, diagnose, and leave them, in, in particularly in diabetic retinopathy, uh, we, we can have patient can go blind, not may, may go blind. And the second, uh, we, we found in uh, the Smart uh, India study by Dr. We have a lot of figures not come, so we'll do that. Thank you. So, uh, in uh, the Smart India study with Dr. Shobha Shiva Prasad, Dr. Rajiv Raman and Dr. Kim and 20 centers in India we found, we have a vision threatening diabetic retinopathy and the patients are not willing to come for treatment because they have 6-6 vision with advanced proliferative diabetic retinopathy without macular edema and they need laser treatment or a injection. Unfortunately, they don't want to come. They are afraid that uh, by treating you lose the eye. So that in India, we have a, another problem where after diagnosing and there are a lot of NGOs available for uh, uh, doing treatment, patients don't want to come. And uh, so that's why unity is strength. We need more working hands and we have to make use of minimally trained staff already available. We have armed them with AI to bridge this gap. And as Dr. Prasanna said, the AI cannot replace doctor. So many times people think AI is going to replace. Even though in the Tesla car you have a, you can drive without a driver, but I think you need to, in a, we have to be there and make sure that things are working well. I mean, even in the plane, you have autopilot and, in, and plus also the various computer landing system, the CLS, but still you need the pilot to be there to, to manage the weather disturbance happening. So the role of doctor is never going to be go away. And I always tell whatever computers have come for even hospital management software, as well as now the AI, still you need to touch the patient. That means you need to treat the patient with whatever injection, laser, surgery. And for that, you need to touch the patient. And that's important because the human touch I call with the high touch, that is the, uh, the technology also, you need to be a good human and uh, because you're treating another human being. So we have this pre-camp awareness, which we do it in entire slum of Mumbai, assembly of diabetics, capturing of the images and uploading. Either we use, right now we are using the ophthalmologist, we use AI, we also use optometrist trained and also image graders. And this is the uh, thing I'm suggesting as an AOS president in 2019. This is what I wanted for the entire uh, uh, New India for doing the nationwide screening. So uh, you have the AI, machine learning, deep learning, and then we have the explainable AI. So uh, there is uh, no financial interest. I am working with Remedio where our hospital, our foundation, in my parents' name, Kamala Sundaram Foundation, earlier known as the Ayate Jyoth Foundation for Tinkle Little Life, has published first of its kind uh, world project for the screening of diabetic retinopathy using of a, a non-skilled worker. That means any school dropout, we train them and make them a semi-skilled health worker. That means one skill is to use the fundus camera, either using the mobile or that 4S and an AI deployed on a smartphone, non-mediatic retinal camera, and the, we are doing that in the municipal dispensaries in Mumbai from 2017. And the computer is trained to accept retina pictures properly taken by the trained semi-skilled worker, compare it with the thousands of previously provided diabetic retinopathy pictures, uh, which is there in the uh, mobile phone. And based on that, notify the staff which patient needs to be referred to ophthalmologist, labeled as referable diabetic retinopathy. Thanks to the media software from Singapore, which, which now has been taken over by Remedio, which we, we incorporated the AI in the mobile phone. And the Remedio fundus camera on phone can be mounted on a suitable bike for transporting for screening purpose. Like here, you see, you can use it as a handheld, but I am, so, uh, I like the patient uh, to be stable and the examiner or the, uh, the semi skilled worker to be stable so that you can have the chin rest and then uh, it's cost little extra money uh, where it can be counted on a, uh, mounted on a, uh, any table. The advantage of using the system is, uh, I don't have, as I said, financial interest. There is a, the mobile phone can be charged and the infrared device can be charged. And uh, we started this in uh, thanks to K. Chandrasekhar, who is the, uh, the CEO of uh, the Forest Camera. And again, uh, no fun financial interest. We, I gave him the idea in the Agra All India Ophthalmic uh, Conference in March, in February. And then in tw tw March, we inaugurated, you can see my that time the 95 year old grandmother who, with my father, late father, who inaugurated the, along with my best friend Shivanandan, who is uh, there supporting all my services, where we carry the forest camera in the motorbike and nothing happens because the optics are kept in the, you will be seeing in the video. So, 
so the here you you'll see the uh, boy carrying the optics in the backpack that means it'll it'll not shake when the bike is moving and that's our uh, main hospital from how we just uh, full keep the uh, uh, fundus camera in the box and then kept it in the uh, which is there in the carrier in the motorbike and you can see he's carrying the backpack which has the optics and you can see the road this road is okay but uh, when you have a bumpy road and nothing happens to the optics and this is where uh, we have a clinic in the slums of mumbai in dharavi and we are uh, we have taught him to assemble and dis- uh, reassemble and you can see he can take beautiful pictures and like this we can we have trained this boy is only a 10th uh, fail or 9th pass and this is an optometrist uh, intern who's uh, being trained so this is using the uh, forest and even forest now has come out with the a software for diagnosing diabetic retinopathy so i think uh, we, we can uh, so the, so I, i use the anybody can we all of them don't need for any education whether they are they can read or write even if they can't read all of them you know to in india to use the smartphone they may have the simplest smartphone that's enough for them and you don't have to know english so thanks to uh, dr parul datta from uh, Shroff Charity and All India Ophthalmic Society, we actually signed an MOU in 2019 and then uh, we implemented in 2020 in Gurgaon Conference. Unfortunately, post-COVID, the MOU is not renewed with the Skill Development Corporation of India, which is a semi-government located in uh, uh, Delhi, where we have got a curriculum where we can train three weeks. These uh, people who are uh, illiterate or Ill- illiterate, where they need to use only interest for using the smartphone and also use diabetes so i call this as a a b c d from that anybody can dance to anybody can diagnose uh, screen for diabetic retinopathy so this is the various stages of diabetic retinopathy for the exa- the boy or the girl need not know the details so there is the image capture done by a non specialist or anybody and a analysis of all images done by the ai the sensitivity for detection of ret- referable diabetic retinopathy continue to remain 100% while the specific sensitivity dropped due to non diabetic retinopathy images being graded as re- referable diabetic retinopathy so this you can see the capturing the fundus photo with the smartphone and we have trained our health workers and this is the uh, remedy um, camera where, where we are put to use you need a dark uh, room and that's available anywhere in the slum and you can see the boy or a girl can uh, make the photograph like this and and this will now he can put it on the rem, rem, the media software and then uh, it'll say that uh, you can see that it's a 99% confident that means that picture is good and then you see the blue thing which is the one which identify the color difference and that's the ai uh, which analyzes and say referable or non referable that means if you go to a camp and detect diabetic retinopathy and you don't the boy or the girl need not know anything if they only have to put that image and put it on the ai so you can see the 99% and there's a signs of a detected diabetic retinopathy and then you can see the referable so this is the fundus on phone compared with the zeiss camera and the economic it is cost wise cheaper so i am actually trying to Uh, uh, do this in africa and also south america but first we i want to do the entire kashmir to kanyakumari and arunachal pradesh to kutch so this is how the example of the various stages of diabetic retinopathy the blue is actually detecting the abnormal color and then with the stored images the ai detects the patient is having pdr or pdr with the csme and then where says referable and non referable so this is a link between medically underserved area and tertiary health care services and particularly i think you can send the images anywhere and it's already there and that's a, as a president of all india i made this george say george allow for call the screening through tele ophthalmology for prevention of diabetic blindness and uh, the same auditorium in 2019 as a president of all india there was a movie made which is there in the youtube where it was in the international advertising association india chapter where we conducted a, a competition and made a, a diabetic retinopathy awareness and about uh, 4000 times it was screened in the national television we also uh, did this in using with the remedio staff and our foundation staff we used 13 fundus on phone device like this and we came on the um, uh, guinness record where we have 649 diabetic patients were screened using fundus on phone 53 were diagnosed with diabetic retinopathy we want more and more people to break the record the idea is to create uh, uh, the awareness all over india 
and this is the Guinness certificate. So this is again, uh, uh, I am into this from 2019. And so we had this research question, is AI reliable to pick out those in need for seeing an eye doctor? And that was the result. And ophthalmologist found 15 patients with referable diabetic retinopathy. And A also marked these patients as referable case for diabetic retinopathy. So reliability using this media software and remedial for screening uh, DR in need of ophthalmic checkup by an eye doctor is 100%. And this was published in the JAMA, the Diagnostic Accuracy of Community-Based Diabetic Retinopathy Screening with an offline AI in a, on a smartphone. And that was the uh, most talked about articles in 2019, ranking number five. And around there were in a month also. And we uh, further did more patients and it's published in Indian Journal of Ophthalmology. And that's the conclusion where uh, despite including poor quality images, the sensitivity and specificity of detecting referable diabetic retinopathy AI were 100% and 89.55%. And we also work with the diabetologist, endocrinologist, because diabetic retinopathy awareness and association with multiple comorbidities, we, we made a, a publication on this diamond study. And uh, the advantages of using AI, early referable, uh, referable diabetic retinopathy, greater awareness about diabetes, its effects and importance of regular follow-up, greater chat time for a eye doctor to see the patient. That's what Finally, as I told, we have to touch the patient to make sure the patient is all right. Timely medical surgical intervention to prevent complete loss of vision. More job opportunities. It means uh, in uh, uh, UP, you don't need a Romeo police. We can probably train them to do fundus uh, screening because that's my dream. We have, a, uh, we, we have to create more job opportunities and still, uh, still development of less debt. And I'm very impressed with this girl who is now maybe 22 or something. And uh, in 2014, the National Eye Institute uh, asked me whether you can help this girl. She at the age of 16 got initiated into AI and she first studied the effect of retinopathy on her diabetic grandfather living in coastal Andhra. But she's born, brought up in US. She studied in the Jefferson High School, which, which is a different from the regular school with promoting science and physics. She then developed a eye agnosis, a diagnostic tool and app on the smartphone and we did the testing when they wrote to five institutions and I took that and you can Google her and I'm very impressed with a, an Indian origin uh, uh, person but she's a second generation American Indian in a, uh, and now unfortunately she shifted from eye ophthalmology to neuro and she's using AI in neuro. And uh, with all this, because I thought after finishing my president post as an All India Ophthalmic Society, I was wondering how can I continue this project. But during the year, as a president in November, we did about 4,000 camps because as a pre and we made uh, a noise with all the, uh, the uh, states of India and ter union territories. But and after 2020, I thought, what? How can I keep uh, progressing? So I made a Section 8 company for a, called an NGO, Sundaram Natarajan Blind Free India Foundation. The dream is to make blind India blind free and eliminate diabetic retinopathy, eye ailment, the diabetic retinopathy. And our objectives is used to do um, on many things in ophthalmology, but I am concentrating on uh, creating uh, at least awareness uh, of diabetic uh, can produce eye problem and. Uh, there are 6,47,745 villages in India and we only have 30,000 ophthalmologists and maybe 10,000 or 20,000 optometrists. So how do we reach every villager? We have formed this to foundation to access all the villages. We are training young people and creating job communities across country. And we can train semi-skilled person to use the offline AI, any company, I don't mind, or Remedio to screen diabetic retinopathy. And uh, this is what I mentioned about the Romeo police. Sir, yeah. Please conclude. Oh yeah. yeah. Hello, Aaron. Yeah. And I'm the last slides. So my idea is to diagnose diabetes early at the age of 35, so that we can prevent all this, so that uh, it will not cost the government or the person to die of di either a renal failure or a heart attack. So uh, even uh, Dr. Arun Shetrapal spoke about Stephen Hawking. He says AI yeah, is likely to be the best or worst thing to happen to humanity. It is up to us which one it's going to be. So world, this is the one which we made in the movie. World will forgive you, will you forgive yourself if you have diabetic blind and diabetic blindness is preventable. If you are diabetic, you need a retina checkup to prevent vision loss. Thank my team. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Natarajan for such an elaborate talk. Uh, are these cameras non-mediatic or you need to dilate the pupil? The four uh, are no, 45%. 
you can do uh, non dilated non and, uh, and the rest of the 55% which uh, they based on the nhs study in uk where they have done in millions 1% tropic might after 10 minutes you can take all slightly the more than yeah. 3.5 mm correct uh, it will become 3 to 3.5 to 4 Okay. and how uh, how much far are we in developing a laser delivery system which can identify the dis the fovea the macula and the vessels and it can treat the diabetic retinopathy are we doing something about this is for the laser going saying, on there no there is a system no i forgot the name of the company where you can set everything and it will do the laser it will do the laser yeah so it will identify the fovea and avoid yeah. the fovea so once the clinician validates that this is a case of a diabetic retinopathy right. and needs a laser Yes. So you can ask the patient to say. Yeah, but in India we have so many ophthalmologists. Still, but we, still we are running short. And of again, hospital. everything is going to cost. Huh? So India is going to be the world capital of diabetic retinopathy yes. in 2030, and we'll need much, many more screening uh, people to decrease the workload of ophthalmologists. That's my dream. So that's why I made this foundation mm. where every diabetic should be screened. We have, uh, I think, 77 million diabetics as per IDS. 40 million do not know they have diabetes. Yeah, and that means four crore people. We have to make sure you do the HB1. That's what I'm trying to propagate everywhere. We do the HB1 AC, do the uh, whatever uh, the fasting and random sugar uh, as an eye foundation, and also detect retinopathy and make sure they are treated free. So I'm doing uh, like in Madras, I'm doing with the uh, Shankar Netralaya and uh, Dr. Madhivan and other places. Whoever is willing to join, which, because I don't want to create a hospital. My idea is to create awareness. and yeah. make uh, funding available to all the ngos all over india yes i remember way back like in 2004 5 we had started doing these yes. camps when we were having our ldp sessions and correct and you motivated me to also conduct a camp for diabetic screening yes uh, thank you ms are there any questions from the audience are there any doubts or somebody wants to raise a concern thank you very much arvind can give a comment no sir arvind can give a comment yeah arvind Yeah, means uh, AI is uh, definitely there for all the ophthalmologists. Uh, so we need to imbibe it this new technology. It's very useful uh, in the uh, diagnosis and uh, the especially uh, for the progression of disease like the glaucoma, the diabetic retinopathy. It's very useful. As sir has rightly said, uh, 